Next up, we have student researchers from Galloway, New Jersey, Mission 11 Flight Experiment. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Valkyrie Falciani, and this is my partner, Danielle Ertz. Hi. Our experiment is called Spores in Space, the Effects of Microgravity on Endomycorrhizae. So, mycorrhizae is the mutual mutualistic relationship between fungi and plants. Uh, if you've ever studied symbiotic relationships in any biology class you've ever been in, you've probably heard of them. Um, but what they actually are is fungal, fungal cells from branches called hyphae uh, infect the root cells of the plant, uh, and the fun fungi actually help the plant gather nutrients from the soil. It makes the plant roots more efficient. And in exchange, the plant roots will, uh, will create sugars that then feeds uh, the fun fungal cells. Uh, and we believe this will benefit future long-term space travel and off-world agriculture because these kinds of relationships on Earth can be utilized in agriculture uh, as an alternative or a supplement to fertilizers. For this experiment, we will be investigating the effect of microgravity on the efficiency of this process. We will be using a two-sample proportion test to analyze our data. We will be using the Type 3 FME mini lab, flax seeds, mycorrhizal spores, sphagnum moss as a growing medium, and sterile water. When the mini lab arrives on the ISS, the astronauts will first unclamp clamp B, mix for 10 seconds, then they will immediately unclamp clamp A and mix for 20 seconds. We will uh, be conducting our ground truth experiments in triplicate simultaneously. During the four to six weeks on the ISS, the spores will activate and the seeds will germinate. They will grow together and form the relationship, which we've just talked about. When the experiment comes back to Earth, we are going to be using a light microscope to count the number of infected root cells in both the ground truth experiments and the flight experiment. Okay, so there are three possible results and three conclusions that we can draw from them. Um, so the first is that uh, an increase in the infected cell, infected root cells uh, will indicate that uh, endomycorrhizae is more efficient in microgravity, which would be really good uh, because uh, the spores take up way less space than like a 20 pound, 20 pound bag of fertilizer. Um, the second option is a decrease in infected root cells in microgravity compared to the uh, earth uh, trials uh, will indicate that endomycorrhizae is less efficient in microgravity, in which case this would not be a good alternative to fertilizer for off-world agriculture. Uh, and no change in the amount of infected root cells uh, will indicate that the relationship is not affected by microgravity, and basically that would mean that this could still be a good alternative to fertilizers uh, or a good supplement. So, Obviously, we're hoping for either the first or the last one. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Our references? We had a lot. Yes. <laughs> And we want to uh, say thank you to Stockton University School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, the School of Education, and the School of General Studies, and the STEM Collaborative. And we want to say a very special thank you to Dr. Luke, our faculty mentor, and to Dr. Straub, Dean of NAMS, for bringing this program to Stockton University. So thank you very, very much. Do we have any questions for this team? Hi, I'm Greg from Springfield, New Jersey. Just wondering, how do you plan on actually measuring the results? So we are going to be using a, um, a very basic statistics test after doing the physical counting of the number of infected root cells uh, to compare the results from the ground truth experiments and the flight experiment. Uh, we're also, to, in order to do the initial counting, we're using a basic light compound microscope. Um, That's it, pretty simple. <laughs> How did you come up? How did you come up with the idea for your experiment? Thank you for asking. It was actually Danielle's idea. She is the plant person in the group. I, I really like plants, um, <laughs> and you know I always heard about my, like different kinds of mycorrhizal fungi in my plant courses at Stockton and just every biology course I've ever taken. 
uh, but the courses never really address the fungi itself, just you know what happens in the plants. So I was curious. Um, out of all of our ideas, we had a few different ideas that we were playing around with, but this was definitely the coolest out of all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff Goldstein, Center Director for the National Center for Earth and Space Science Education. I just wanted to point out that many of the student teams here today have university partnerships, but you are undergraduates at Stockton University. This is our second undergraduate presentation uh, for this program, and it's wonderful that Stockton came aboard and is coming back for Mission 12 to the International Space Station, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.